Hello, welcome or welcome back. After one year, we have come back to Dinosaur Provincial Park and are ready for round two. We came from the Royal Tyrell Museum and this year our goal is to find even more things that would make the Displutosaur Tooth look tiny. Will we find any more cool fossils? Stay tuned because this is Dinosaur Provincial Park Season 2. Okay, so hello, welcome or welcome back to the Dig Sites. Uh, today is part three of Dinosaur Provincial Park Season 2. Um, last episode, uh, if you haven't watched the last episode, definitely do that before checking this one out. But just to quickly recap what happened last episode, um, we went to the Central Source Bone Bed Hike, which was pretty good. Lots of bugs, but seeing all the different pieces of bone sticking out of the ground was very, very cool. Um, and then after that, we just did a little bit of scouting to see if there's any worthy places to prospect. We did a little bit of prospecting, but not a whole lot. It was mostly scouting. And the parts where I said we were prospecting, I lied. But anyway, today is prospecting. No scouting, because we've already done that. So we're just going to make our way to the uh, back of this little circled public area. That's what it's called, the public area and see if there's any good spots to prospect and yeah let's just head into it okay so some of the uh, dangers of prospecting is uh, as you can see there holes and cracks and this is eventually over time probably going to break off after this line gets to around there because I don't think there's actually anything under this that's supporting it. So eventually that's going to fall off. And another thing to add is since it rained last night quite a bit, all of the mudstone is very slippery. So even when I was climbing over some things, I was slipping quite a bit. So if you wanted to walk along this, which I don't know why you would, because one false step and you're breaking something, um, you'd probably slip 50% of the time when you're walking because of how slippery. See, that should not be doing that. It's very, very wet and very, very slippery. So when you're prospecting here and it rains the night before, be very careful. Go. Okay, so I think uh, this is our first stop. As you can see, like I said in my previous videos, all this ironstone has fallen from up there and has made its way down all the way over here and, and this entire place is just covered in ironstone and then you can see over there the same thing sort of happened with a little bit of ironstone trinkling its way down the uh, face of the what is this wall it's a wall um, but anyway, yeah, this is our first prospecting, and I guess we'll just set up and see what we can find. Okay, so instead of staying where we were supposed to, somebody decided to go up high. That's glass. Um, and since it's slippery, like I said, it's going to be hard for him to come down. So I found something though, it's in my hat, but now we need to get something for him and then go up with him. Hopefully we can get down though. So. Oh wow, that's really muddy. So, basically, when I said earlier to not go and climb crazy things because if it rains the night before it's going to be very slippery. Don't do what we just did because that's how you die. You get yourself killed. But apparently he found something. So let's see what he found. Go 
Could be a bat. Could be a something. Oh, there's more there. That's so not. We'll take a look. It's not fossilized though. No. Bird bones. Yeah, bird bones. You can tell because, well, they're very white. And they're hollow. And they're hollow, so. Bird bones, but I did find something uh, down where I was sitting, where we were supposed to stay. Oh, nice. And they're pretty, pretty big. I found quite a bit in. Uh, nice. Okay, let's uh, work our way over. Oh, yeah, and how he gets. Uh, I think we should just go down that way. Let's go around the corner. Oh, okay, that works too. Here. It's very poor traction there. It rained. I literally told everybody to not go on high places Here we are. or scale crazy things when it's wet. You know why? Because we're gonna go down. Because we're going down, not the good down. way. Gravity. Gravity helps. Okay, so, nope, okay, back what I was saying, um, when I was in the Badlands Science Camp, um, over the week, I went to this place called Tolman Head, where there was a, um, hadrosaur, uh, like, bone bed that was being excavated, so I was able to witness that, but also, around that area, where the uh, fossils were, I found quite a few hadrosaur teeth. And while I was in my spot, instead of climbing everything, I found these, which look, look very similar to hadrosaur teeth. And if I can get them back to what I found out, let's see here. They do piece together. Nice. And the way that I know that they are teeth is because it's a leaf shape. You may not be able to see it. I may put up a picture uh, somewhere in the video, like probably right now, showing a uh, hadrosaur teeth, and they have somewhat of a leaf shape to it. And you can see that there is a somewhat leaf sort of shape to it. So, hadrosaur teeth that you can put together. It's like Lego. So, I'm thinking that we stay, I'm talking to you, stay in that spot and look around in that general area where I found these teeth. So, because there may be some more uh, hadrosaur teeth. Okay, so, uh, we spent a couple more minutes just searching that area couldn't really find anything we also we found fragments of bone obviously those are everywhere but no more of those hadosaur teeth unfortunately so we're going to start heading towards another location to prospect and see if we can find anything else there okay so while we were uh while, or as we're on our way to the area um Clearly somebody's found a chunk of bone and has put ironstone rocks around it to uh, show passerbys to uh, show the bone. It doesn't, I don't know how long the bone is since it seems to just be stuck in the ground. So yeah, cool discovery. Very big chunk of bone. If we had water, we'd be able to probably clear off some of this mud. Actually, let's see. Let's see. I think that just might have made it worse. Let's do that little square. There you go. You can see a little bit of the bone. I don't know what bone it could be because of, well, it's in the ground. So 
but it could it could go down further into the ground quite a ways so but whoever found this is that's pretty cool because that is a very very big piece of bone okay onward to the location okay okay so again another stop uh, we were walking around here and then I saw this bone and then just a few yeah get the shadow out of the way right there and just a few little bit away there's this which is in a bunch of pieces they're, they're not like it looks like these have been placed but they're stuck in the ground like nobody's nobody's found or moved these so oh actually yeah that's like it's like this wide this long that's probably a vertebrae That's obviously exploded, that piece. I don't know what this is a part of. I think it's the top end of the vertebrate. Mm. Uh, it could be. That connecting to that. What's this? I need a rock. Okay, well, something here, probably a vertebrae. So, another good find. Lots of, lots of bones. Okay, so um, we have took a few pictures. We've, we've uh, measured the bone. And if you look actually around like here, even like down here, even too, there are a lot of like, I mean a lot of fragments, probably like up to 50 fragments here that could all be a part of this bone. So I think what we're going to probably do is we're probably going to try and find most of the pieces and somehow reconstruct it. Like, it may take a while, but all the pieces are here, so I guess we'll find out. Okay, so we've been here for probably an hour, um, and these three pieces, top pieces that I'm holding do go together. I just don't have enough fingers, so these all do connect. We'll put those right there. Those three pieces connect to the top piece, which I figured out, um, then this piece, and then these two pieces. So it's basically one giant jigsaw puzzle. And these are some other pieces that we speculate given the fact that it has the same coloration and the same inside, all these pieces. So those probably somewhat connect there. And there's probably still more of this same bone scattered around here somewhere, but there's so many projects in one spot. We got this, we got the vertebrae, we have the other bone that's uh, over there. So there's there's a lot happening in this one area. But, what time is it? It's, yeah, we've basically been here for probably almost an hour in this one spot. And we found quite a bit. So, we're, we're going to quickly head over to that area, see how those other bones are doing, and see what else happens. Okay, um, we checked a little around uh, the area where we found the bones yesterday. Um, they're obviously still there, but we realized that it's getting kind of late. And so tomorrow, today was in and of itself, it was like pretty, pretty useful day. We found quite, we found a hydrosaur tooth. We found lots of little bits of bone fragments, but where we found the vertebrae and the, and the two other bones, both are unidentifiable because one is just too broken apart. Two, 
the other one's just deep into the ground still, so we don't know what it is. But overall, it's been a pretty, pretty good day. And so hopefully tomorrow, we will probably start our adventure in this area so we can look more in that direction and continue looking in the direction of the vertebrae. But yeah, other than that, uh, that's part three of Dinosaur Provincial Park Season 2. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like as well as subscribing to the channel. Also, make sure to turn on the notification bell so you do not miss any of my other series. So, have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video.